Hey, Scott Austin here. In this video, I'm going to walk through the uh, store build that I did for Lodor. This is a new uh, Shopify store. It's a new site. It, didn't, it wasn't on any platform before. It's a new brand. And uh, Lodor is a series of books called the Lodor Tales. And the first book coming out is The Land of the Pines. So the author contacted me to put together this site to get ready for the launch of the book. And the book launches in August. So it's, it's a few months away still. And we put it on Shopify, even though she's not selling any products in this store right now. But we put it on Shopify because there's going to be associated products to the books and the books themselves that need to be on an e-commerce platform. But right now, this is a really content-heavy website and a really rich design website much more so than most traditional e-commerce stores because th this site right now is about building a brand more than it is about selling products. So let me walk you through the store because there's there's a lot of really good stuff here. And to start with, I use the flex theme, which is the theme that I use for almost all my new store builds these days. Um, and this, this store's requirements went well beyond what was available in flex. So we had to do a lot of custom coding to make things work that just weren't in the box in Flex. That said though, Flex gave me enough flexibility, no pun intended, um, to allow me to do things that building this uh, website would have been much harder in another theme. So here I am on the home page. Let me just refresh the page. Obviously you can see, you know, we've got a video going on and that's, that's not part of Flex to have a video on the, the home page banner by default. Um, and there's some you know custom code in there, but let me show you the the page to begin with. So the the nice thing about uh, working with a uh, children's book is they have lots of absolutely fantastic art. So throughout the store or throughout the site, we have lots of graphic assets to leverage because the artist had put together all sorts of renderings to put together this illustrated children's book. So um, throughout, you know, if everywhere we go, just absolutely beautiful art um, through everything, which is just, it was so much fun to work with and have such great assets to be able to leverage. You know, one of the hardest parts about building a store is the content. And here from a graphic standpoint, we had lots of great content. So here on the homepage, um, showed you before, there's a banner image that shows up, fills the full screen there. And after seven seconds or so, then it switches to this video, this is an HTML5 video, so it's hosted on Shopify. It is set to autoplay and auto loop. And, you know, as most of you probably know, when you set up a video to autoplay, it can be blocked by the browser or it can be blocked by the, the customer. So you're not in complete control of that. But this video ends up autoplaying really nicely on most devices, including Macs. It doesn't autoplay on iOS devices. And that's a function of iOS settings. But uh, the video works really nicely here. And what we did also is spend a lot of time on responsiveness. So, you know, we got this really rich, engaging page for a desktop experience. But if we look at it on mobile, it's just as rich and engaging, but completely different content and different layouts, right? So we take that banner and we crop it differently, right? This, is, this isn't the same image, you know, it's a copy of the image with a different cropping because we wanted to be in complete control of the layout. And here, you know, this on desktop was side by side with this text and now we've got a stacked. Um, and, you know, this, this text was inside the banner, now it's below. This is actually a different image and a quote below. Um, and this one, you know, was, was rotated the other way before. So, did a lot of work to make this a really responsive website. For example, if I switch this to the responsive view inside of Chrome, you know, we just look at this book review element and it really, it responds really well to screen size changes. And even the font sizes, you know, there's no static font sizes set inside this element. They're all um, VW's uh, font sizes. So they're, they're relative to the width. So as the width changes, the width of the screen changes, the font size change also. So it's, it's completely dynamically changing text. So it's, it's, it's uber responsive is the way I'd like to say it. I don't know if that's an actual term, uber responsive, but I'm gonna start using it, I like it. 
So let's go back to our desktop view and stand that most of the time here. So the site has you know a, a lot of content pages. You can see the top here. So we have an about Lodor where they talk about the mission. You know, once again, great graphics, lots of different elements going on, and really precise control. You know, the the Lodor team gave me you know graphics and said hey, we want it to look exactly like this. Um, which isn't the normal way that I do things in a Shopify store. Usually I'm like, well, here's the way the theme does it. And, you know, we could spend a whole bunch of more time and energy to get it exactly the way you want it, but is that really what you want to do? And in this case, it was, because they're really tightly controlling their brand um, in a really good way. Um, so we spent a lot of time working on things. You know, one example of that is the font that the, the designers for the book, let me show the book cover here. Um, here's the book cover. I think we might have a larger image of it here. No, oh, the same size image. And this, this font here is called Nelson. But the actual Nelson font, when you get the TTF file, is a weathered font. So, you know, there's like holes in, in, in worn effect inside of the font. But, you know, they took that out when they made the book cover. But then we use that font here, right? Every time we use the book title on its own, we put it in the Nelson font so that it matches the, the book cover. But I had to go in and open up the TTF file and remove all the weathering. So, you know, I was in there manually editing the uh, vector files for each of the, uh, the text elements inside the TTF file to remove the weathering to get this font looking like this font because the default TTF file does not look like it at all because it's got that weathered effect behind it. So lots of little details like that that really, you know, spent it took a you know time and energy to do, but it's the kind of thing that really makes this site and and the completeness of it or the the uh, continuity of it much more uh, compelling than than a normal you know e-commerce store. So just you know I'm gonna scroll through some of these elements here like. For a lot of the pages, there's a quote, and each, each page has a different, uh, you know, quote inside of it, you know, a reference, or, um, and different colors. So, you know, but a lot of the, the site is the exact same entity, right? So, you know, each, each page has a different quote here also from the book, but different background images also. And when we have, you know, the elements here, the banners, let's look at this one on mobile. Right. The placement is very consistent on things. So if I go from here to the next page, you know, the, the placement of those are all, all exactly precise. So let's look at this page on desktop. This is about the book. Got some quotes in it. And once again, just fabulous art everywhere. And an author page. Q&A with that uh, nice accordion functionality that comes inside of Flex. And then there's a foundation that's associated with the company in the book series. So that's discussed here. And here's one of those quote pages, a different color background this time. A press kit because it's a, a new book that's coming out. People are going to come in and, you know, download the media kit, different press people, and that gives them access to different graphics and, and files and information about the book as they write about it and do their reviews. And stories, this is sort of like a blog, but because these pages are so rich, we actually couldn't use Shopify's blog functionality. Um, we're just using campaigns and a page.details template. Everything here is page.details templates. And, and some of these pages, just as an example, you know, this page, as a random example, you know, may have, if you opened up the page.details template file in Liquid, there might be four or five sections in there because we're doing so many different things. Um, so every time, you know, and the longer the page is, the more sections we had to, to put together. So there was a lot of figuring out, all right, what section are we going to use for this page and how many sections do we need as we did different things. But back to the, uh, the stories blog, you know, this is about the different uh, marketing efforts that are going on for promoting the book. Here's a, a book signing at a school. And then this one here is a nice little promotional video. You, got, you know, 
a full page video here and then we click to play it. They said you have to start somewhere. So I started here. Where I could hear the trees. And you know, getting that to, to center on top of that image was a little bit of work, but um, it, it ended up working really nicely. And then of course we had to make that work on mobile also. Refresh it so you can see what it looks like on mobile. They said you have to start somewhere. So I started here. Let's go back to our desktop view. And some of the footer links, another FAQ. I just I love, love that image. <laughs> the uh, the deer and the uh, the rabbit uh, just uh, drinking, hanging out in the I don't know if that's a gun store or whatever. It's just so much fun. And this has that accordion functionality. Even the legal pages have nice uh, banner images. And there's a publishing page, uh, you know, little technical details like the ISBN number about the book. And then, of course, we have to have a contact us page. And we also have, because um, the book is coming out in a few months, you can pre-order it through different sites. So several places throughout the site, we have pre-order links. There's one right here on the home page. If we go to the Land of the Pines page, there's another pre-order link right there. And that pre-order takes us to a page where we list the different pre-order opportunities. So there's Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and IndieBound. And each one of them opens up inside of a new tab so that they can go to those sites and pre-order the book. So that is the uh, Lodor site, uh, a new Shopify store using the Flex theme. Thanks for watching.